You know, I was just thinking. Um, this whole subject matter of loving yourself. For many people, they don't even know who their self is, much less how to love it. The journey of discovering our self, our core self, our soul self, is a journey into the darkness initially because we are entering into the realm of the unknown or into the void our true self um, actually has gotten lost in our adult journey the journey into adulthood our true self has entirely gotten lost and so we have to make the journey to recover it to recover our soul and that is essentially done by revisiting our trauma uh, and also revisiting all of the dreams childhood dreams that have died or were put aside um, or killed because either life um, our parents expectations traditions uh, religion is a big one religion would have been the biggest one to kill our dreams our childhood dreams and uh, christianity um, we had to set our own dreams aside in order to please and serve god and that is actually when our core self, our core soul, got lost. And uh, in order to find that soul, we have to set aside and deconstruct the things that robbed us of our childhood soul. So, to find your soul, you have to look at everything that was introduced that killed your dream that killed your dreams of innocence and uh, you're gonna have to say no and deny a lot of things that are not inherently you and uh, it's a hard journey but it's worth it it's worth it to go and find yourself and once you have discovered that self then you can start loving that self by putting away all that no longer serves that innocent soul put away everything that uh, diminishes your soul and what I mean in no longer serves all the stuff that no longer serves to elevate your soul that needs to be put away for you to find you